Let's look at the maximization minimization problems as the application of the quadratic functions. This problem, the back of Jake's property is a creek. Jake would like to enclose a rectangular area using the creek as one side of fencing and fencing for the other three sides to create a coral. If there is 320 feet of fencing available, what is the maximum possible area of the coral? First, let's draw a figure for this problem. The area of the property as one side is the creek. So the fencing, 320 feet available. Let's name the variable for the size. Let's x be the two opposite sides here and y be the other side. For the 320 feet of fencing available, that is the sum of two x's and y, or we can say 320 equals 2x plus y. We are going to look at the maximum area. When we talk about the area of the rectangle, the formula is A equals length times width, which is x times y. From the fencing information, we have the two variables x and y in one expression. So let's solve for y. To write y in terms of x, we get y equals 320 minus 2x. And then we're gonna use this y as an expression of the x to replace the y variable in the terms of the a or the area. Therefore, we get the a as x multiplied by 320 minus 2x. Now we have the equation for the area as 320 times x minus two times x squared, which is the quadratic function or we write it as a equals negative two x squared plus 320 x. As the form of the quadratic function, f of x equals a x squared plus b x plus c. In this case, the c is missing. That means the c is zero. And we make a list, a is negative two, B is 320 and C is zero. A is less than zero. That tells us we get the parabola opens downward. So then the vertex HK gonna be the maximum point of the graph. That what we are looking for as a maximum area. Next, we're gonna find the vertex HK. From the formula h equals negative b over 2a. The b is 320, so negative 320 divided by 2 times a or 2 times negative 2. We get 320 divided by 4. That turns out to be 80. And then calculate the k, which is the function of the h or the area that we are looking for. Then we get negative two multiplied by 80 squared plus 320 times 80. And we will get 12,800 square feet. Another way we can do that is looking for the K using the formula. K is 4AC minus B squared divided by 4a, we should get the same value 